Ms. Marcos, can I just start with you? You testified a moment ago to Senator Butler that every child gets a Know Your Rights presentation. Is that correct? That is correct. Is that before or after you release them to labor traffickers? Senator, every child that comes into our care gets a Know Your Rights presentation as well as... Have you read these New York Times reports, these stories, the, the series of stories the New York Times has done on the children who are in your care? Have you read them? Yes, I have. Have you read that children are scrubbing dishes, they are operating heavy machinery, they are delivering, delivering meals, they are harvesting coffee, they are working construction, they are working as housekeepers, they are working overnight shifts at plants where they are not paid, they are not going to school, they are not cared for, they are not giving meals, almost all of it illegally. Are you aware of that? That's a yes or no. Yes. Do the Know Your Rights presentation help them in those situations? Senator ORR. Uh, That's a yes or no, I think. I, Do you really think that you're helping these children by releasing them to labor traffickers and, yes, sex traffickers, 85,000 children whom you have no contact with? And your answer is we gave them a presentation before we turned them over to these people who are exploiting them on a scale not seen in this country for a hundred years, a century, a century. It's a disgrace in the United States of America. Let me ask you this. You did a, an audit, I noticed, where you gave yourself a clean bill of health. So just, just tell me this. Do you require sponsors to document their relationship with the child? Senator, we have a thorough vetting process. Do you require sponsors to document their relationship with the child? Yes, we go through. No, a you do not. You, you do not. Have you read the Senate's permanent subcommittee on investigations reports on your office? There was one in 2016. There was one in 2018. There was one in 2020. There was one in 2022. Spanning administrations, what they found is you do not require sponsors to document their relationship with the child. You release them anyway. What about background checks? Do you require background checks on all adults in the household? In cases where the child is being released to their parents, we do not require um, background checks. But, Senator, I would Do, do you really require like background that. checks on all adults in the household in any case? Yes, in some cases we do. At what percentage of cases do you do background checks on the adults in the household? I, I don't have that number yeah. in front of me. Do you do home visits in all cases? You can actually see where these children are, are being released, who you, whose care you're putting them in? We do not do home visits in all cases. Senator, I'd really like the opportunity to talk about what we are doing. To you, I know what you're doing, and it's, it's incredibly and totally inadequate. And we can read about it in the New York Times. Let me, since you say you've read it, let's talk a little bit about that New York Times report, if we could. Here's a quote from the April 17th installment. Again and again, veteran government staffers and outside contractors told HHS, including reports that reached the secretary, that children appeared to be at risk. Did you warn the secretary that children were at risk? Senator, I'm in regular contact with the secretary. And Did the you warn him that children were at risk? Safety and well-being of children is our top priority. Did you warn him that children were at risk? I'm not going to get into the conversations I've had. You're with here the and you're under oath and this is an oversight hearing. And we need to know what you're doing because you're manifestly not doing your job. Did you warn Senator, him that children were at risk? Do you believe that children are at risk? Let's start with that. Yes. Okay. Did you warn the secretary? Senator, I'm not going to get into the specifics of my conversation, but I would like the opportunity Why to Why wouldn't talk you about, warn the secretary that children were at risk? I would risk. like the opportunity to talk about what we Let's look at doing. what the secretary said to you. The other one, James. Yeah, that one. At least five HHS staff members said they were pushed out after raising concerns about child safety. Mr. Becerra, that's the secretary, told the ORR director, that's you, right, that if she could not increase the number of discharges, he would find someone who could. And then he went on to say that if Henry Ford had run his plants like this, he would never have become famous and rich. This is not the way you do an assembly line. Get the kids out, run them through, get them out to those sponsors, those traffickers. Why didn't you resign when he said this? Do you think that this is morally acceptable? Senator, I joined 
ORR in September of 2022. I believe that was reported prior to my arrival, but I cannot but speak This is from the article this year. I can't speak to what the secretary do you think that this is acceptable to run to, to run ORR like an assembly line and to release these children I to traffickers? I assure you we do not run ORR like an assembly line. The safety and well-being of children is our top concern. And by Plainly statute, not. Plainly it is not your top concern because you have managed to lose 85,000 of them. And the Times knows where they are, or two-thirds of them. And they're with labor traffickers. It's unbelievable. Let me just ask you this. How many kids right now, the 430,000 approximately, unaccompanied children have crossed the border under this administration? It's an astounding number. How many are you in regular contact with right now? Senator, we have a number of different providers across the country. Who but what, what's the number? What's the number? How many of you are you in? You said child welfare is your top concern. What's the number? I don't have the specific number. How can you not know? Because Why would you come to this hearing and not know? Um, respectfully, if you would like us to provide comprehensive case management to children after they're released from our care so we can report Respectfully, I would like you to do your job and not release children to human traffickers. Respectfully, that's what I would like. I'd like you not facilitate the largest child trafficking ring in American history. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.